It's a moment correcting a historic wrong. As a delegation from the Niska Nation held a ceremony to mark the start of this totem pole's journey home. Today was probably one of the most happy days in, in my life because I, I, I'm really, really emotional right now. It was carved in the 1860s in memory of Simagat Nisjal's ancestor, who died protecting his nation. It was stolen in 1929 and sold to the National Museum of Scotland. The time was right for it to return to where it should never have been taken from in the first place. The pole is seen as a living being by the Niska people. When a pole is carved, um, just right before it's to be raised, uh, there is a ceremony that's performed and the carver breathes life back into that pole. The ceremony in Scotland put the pole to rest for its long journey home. This is the second time this year a totem pole has been repatriated. The New Hulk First Nation welcomed this pole home after it was taken more than 100 years ago. A number of years back, I think uh, you would have seen some uncertainty in the parts of museums. This museum director says there is an increased willingness to right past wrongs, but more can be done. I think there's a role for museums here to play in that uh, conversation as well, to help institutions that are farther away. The 11-meter totem pole will take weeks to maneuver out of the museum, through a window, and will be flown back on a military aircraft. Its return will be celebrated with a community feast at the end of next month. My children's children and the rest of my family, their children, it'll be there for them for years. One step on the journey of reconciliation as a pole from the past finds its way back. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Vancouver.